All right, that was one large can of our whole potatoes into our crock pot. I'm next coming in with a large block, about two pounds of our mild cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna pop that cheddar cheese right in between our potatoes for this delicious crock pot recipe. With our cheddar cheese and potatoes, I have some fresh cooked bacon because who doesn't love bacon, cheese, and potatoes? I love this recipe. It's one of my favorites to make as it starts to get nice and cool outside. You kind of just make it, set it, and forget it. That's the best thing about crock pots. You could also do a chorizo here. You could do a turkey bacon. You could even do like a faux bacon or like an impossible bacon. As long as it's nice and smoky and delicious, you'll get that kind of like salt that we need. So I'm just going in, just like so, right into our crock pot. Perfect. All right, I'm coming in with one diced white onion. You could also do a yellow onion here. You could also do a green onion. I'm just going in, because I love a good onion, making sure that's nice and compact into our beautiful crock pot. Of course, we have some garlic because I am a garlic girly. I like to keep them in whole cloves. I always find that they just get so delicious with the whole cloves. And now I'm gonna be coming in with my chicken broth. I like using the less sodium, especially with all that cheese and bacon and those canned potatoes. They do have quite a bit of sodium, so I'd like to do the half. So I'm going in with that entire container right into our crock pot, perfect. And now I'm gonna be coming in with additional dairy. So I have some heavy whipping cream. This is just gonna make this recipe so creamy and so delicious. Maybe going in with two cups right into our crock pot, just like so, perfect. And then I have one stick of butter because butter makes everything better. And then I'm gonna come in with some of my seasonings. I have, of course, some rosemary. Oh. I love the smell of rosemary. I love using rosemary like in the fall and winter seasons. It's just such a good little spice to keep on hand for just about anything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, poultry, red meat. In addition, I have some freeze dried thyme. Again, just like our rosemary, a great seasoning to have during like the winter and fall. It just warms up the house and it totally makes everything smell and taste absolutely delicious. All right, and then I have, of course, just some parsley, added greenery, added freshness. I'm gonna go in with that entire container of our parsley, just like so. Oh, perfect. This is gonna be super, super tasty. And then the last thing I'm gonna go in with is I just have some Kraft Parmesan cheese. And I just have a little bit left in this container, so I'm gonna go right in, just like so. It's gonna help thicken all of this up and just adds a nice little you know, parmesan -y taste. And now we are ready to make sure we get all of our ingredients into our crock pot. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our lid for our crock pot. And we are gonna place this on low and we are just gonna let this ride until we are ready to give it a taste. All right, that was my pork chops into my crock pot. I am next coming in with two grape jellies for this delicious and easy recipe. Oh, we are using some muscle today. I'm going in with the entire thing of grape jelly right on top of my pork chops. I love doing this crock pot recipe. It's one of my favorite recipes with grape jelly and pork chops. All right, now that we have both of our containers of Concord grape jelly on top of our pork chops, we're gonna move on to our next ingredient, which is one of my favorites to use the Lipton Recipe Secrets. I'm using the Beefy Onion for this recipe. You can feel free to do, I know that they have a couple of different options, but I love our Beefy Onion and I think it pairs so well with our grape jelly and our pork chops. The next ingredient I'm coming in with, I have some mild barbecue sauce from Kinder's, which is one of my favorite barbecue sauces to use. Kinder's just knows what they are doing. So if you ever see a Kinder's, whenever they're on sale, I always am reaching for them. I've tried a variety of their sauces and they never disappoint. Even just the smell of them. Ooh, it's like a Texas barbecue house. I think that's pretty good. We use maybe about half of that Kinder's bottle. And we all know I am a garlic girly. So I'm gonna go in with one whole thing of garlic that I just peeled. We're just popping that right into our crock pot before we go ahead and grab our lid. Everyone say happy birthday to honey. We're gonna pow tay. 
I'm gonna pop on my lid and we are going to turn this on high ooh, until our pork chops are beautiful and succulent. All right, that was my meatballs into our crock pot. We're going straight into our mirepoix. So I have some onions, carrots, celery, and some tomatoes for this delicious and easy crock pot recipe. I love doing this once it starts getting cool outside. It's one of my favorite recipes to make. I'm next coming in with two cans of our cream of mushroom soup from Campbell's. Just make sure we get all of the contents of those soups right in there. You can feel free to do any kind of condensed soup. I just love the mushroom. I'm gonna come in next with my Lipton soup recipe, which is their onion flavor. It's one of my favorites to use for this recipe. We're just gonna go in, open those up. And this is gonna act as our seasoning. So we're going in with those two entire packets right on top with our crock pot ingredients. Ooh, it smells good already. I love using these little Lipton. They have a ton of different flavor options too. Like I said, I'm just using the onion today for this delicious recipe. I have one bowl of garlic that I just peeled. We're placing in whole. In addition to what's already in our crock pot, I have our Swanson vegetable broth. You could also do a beef broth, a chicken broth, but I love doing the vegetable broth. I think it just totally complements all of our veggies that we already have in there. I think we'll go in with that entire thing before we give this a stir. Ooh, I am ready for crock pot season. I always feel September is the season for soups. So I'm gonna go in with my spatula. We're just gonna go ahead and make sure all that condensed soup and our broth and our veggies. I mean, look at the colors on this too. Ooh, this is gonna be just a super simple, easy little soup that you can throw together before you head out to the door in the morning. I love a good crock pot because you just set it and forget it. And then fun fact, which I just learned, you're only supposed to be filling your crock pot maybe halfway, max two thirds. So just make sure you wanna create that moisture so we can get those meatballs cooked. And I mean, that looks absolutely delicious. Smells amazing too. So we're gonna grab our lid and we are going to place this on top and we are going to be placing that on low. I like to set this and forget it. It could go for two hours, it could go for six hours. So we're gonna go ahead and check on it in a few. Okay, it has been four hours. We are going to be turning off our crock pot and wait until you see this. I have been smelling this in my house for hours. It smells so delicious, cheesy, buttery, just mm, bacon, absolutely amazing. But remember, we have those whole potatoes in there. So I'm gonna come in with my immersion blender. Oh, we're just gonna start slow and start kind of mixing all of those in our crock pot, just like so. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this right now too. It smells so delicious. Our onions, our cheddar cheese. All right, let's get this all blended together. Okay, look at how our yummy potato, cheddar, and bacon soup is coming along. So I'm gonna put this, oh my gosh, if you could smell this with that garlic too. It smells absolutely delicious. We are ready to serve this up. I, of course, have my soup ladle and my big soup bowl. Oh, just one more stir, just for the camera. Oh, and look at how thick and delicious that looks. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get a big helping for myself. Oh, that bacon, the garlic. Oh, the dogs are excited. They just got up out of their nap and are ready to try some, but unfortunately they cannot. All right, you could top this with like sour cream, chives, green onion, anything you want. Enjoy. All right, our pork chops have been on there for two hours on high. So we are going to turn our crock pot off and big reveal, oh my goodness. Our grape jelly pork chops with garlic barbecue sauce. They are done. Look at the little crust on this as well. I mean, this just looks absolutely delicious. And that grape jelly and barbecue sauce is a great sauce for our pork chops. All right, I have a plate of rice because what pork chop is complete without a plate i mean look at the glaze on that too oh i'm gonna do two pork chops on mine because i am a hungry girl oh that looks absolutely amazing but we are not finished yet my favorite thing to add i have just some green beans because you know we need a little veg with our protein and our starch 
I'm gonna go in with some green beans. And the great thing, I'm gonna grab a spoon and we have to get some of our sauce. I mean, look at how amazing. And I'm just gonna go all around just like so. We want that yummy Kinder's grape jelly, thick sauce on our pork chops and our rice, and of course our green beans. Oh, perfect. All right, we are gonna cut into one of these bad boys. Oh, and they're gonna be perfectly cooked. Oh, I mean, look at how delicious. Oh, I love me a good pork chop. They're so nostalgic for me. I mean, the glaze alone on there, delicious. You gotta try it. Oh my goodness, our soup is ready. So we are going to turn off our crock pot and three, two, one. Oh my goodness. This has been just putting out the most amazing scent in my home. We're gonna go in with our big ladle and give this a hefty stir. Oh, look at all of our delicious veg, our meatballs, and that condensed mushroom soup really has just thickened everything up. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get this nice and served up. I have, of course, my little soup bowl, but I mean, look at how creamy and delicious that looks. I always like to try and get a little extra broth too. So if you want like some garlic bread with this, or even you could throw in like an egg noodle, that would be super tasty with this. Now that we have that ready, I'm also gonna grab some Parmesan cheese. I put that down really fast. And grab our Parmesan. It's kind of like a play on an Italian wedding soup. I mean, this aroma in and of itself just smells so delicious. I'm really excited to try this. I mean, just a little bit of meatball too. Oh, and onions and mushrooms. Enjoy.